Hi, I'm Lorraine Fendi, current Lake County Treasurer, and I'm seeking re-election to my third term. I've uh, been a lifelong resident of Lake County. The first 56 years of my life were in the city of Willowick, and then I got married, and I have now the last seven years been living in the city of Kirtland. Hi, Lorraine. Thank you so much for sitting down with me today. Uh, the first question we have is just for those who don't know already, can you please explain the responsibilities or the duties of the Lake County Treasurer? You know, it's surprising how many people really don't know what a county treasurer does. Mm -hmm. uh, and I have a lot of responsibilities, but the two main ones, at least the ones that I think are the most important, are obviously to collect property taxes and then to uh, invest that money to bring in additional revenue into the county. Mm -hmm. Now, I have roughly $600 million that goes through my office every year but I don't have $600 million <laughs> to invest uh, because it goes out sometimes as quick as it comes in. Mm -hmm. And it goes to all the agencies in the county that uh, benefit from the property taxes, like schools, libraries, communities. Um, and what experiences from your life have motivated you to seek this office? Well, to answer that question, I have to tell you why I ran for a public <laughs> office in the first place. Uh, like I said, I um, lived 56 years in Willowick, and um, I ran for city council because I didn't really like what my councilman was doing. Mm -hmm. I didn't think he was doing a good job, uh, and I felt I had no room to complain unless I was willing to do something about it. So I made the decision to run for city council. I ran against him, and I won. <laughs> um, and so then I was four, four terms as a councilwoman, and then five terms as mayor, and then once again, I really wasn't very happy with what was going on in Columbus uh, with the legislature as to how it was affecting us here locally. So I made the decision to run for state representative. I was four terms state representative, term limited. Mm -hmm. um, and then I made the decision to run for county treasurer. Uh, most of my life has been working with the general public. Uh, so I really wanted to kind of stick in that same uh, same general area um, because like when I was a councilwoman and when I was a mayor uh, those were only part-time positions right. so I worked uh, full-time for I had a 26-year career with the American Red Cross so are there any changes or any advancements that you see coming to this office as we move into this new decade well some of the changes I think are already here and it's the simple fact of what has happened here in our country, in our um, state, and in our county. Uh, I mentioned uh, previously to you the money that I bring in through property taxes. I take that money and I reinvest it uh, into uh, CDs. Um, we are limited to, as an elected official, as to what I can invest in. So I cannot invest in Amazon or, or anything else out there. Uh, there's certain things that the uh, government or the state has allowed me to invest in and the interest rates are not like they were. A um, little bit more than a year ago, there was one that was uh, interest of 2.59 and that same uh, area, which is Star Ohio, which is just the name of a place where I invest the money, uh, is now down to 1.02. And that's really gonna affect the county because it's money that is just not gonna be there anymore to run the county. In your opinion, and based on your experiences as a mayor, as an Ohio House representative, you know, what qualifications should voters look for in a treasurer, and why are you that best choice come November? Well, I feel I'm the best choice uh, because I'm currently in my second term running for my third. Uh, but the uh, qualifications, I think you really need to have a good understanding of finances and real estate. And when I was down in the State House, some of the things that I was involved with uh, to prepare me for this job was, uh, was vice chair of financial institutions. I was on the uh, state's uh, budget committee and I was also on ways and means. Now, what motivates you in life? Oh, that's a, a very simple answer. It's, it's my family. I have a wonderful husband. I have two twin nephews, one of which is married and has two boys of his own. Uh, the other one is a police officer in a suburb outside of Dayton. And I also have three children, uh, who are two of which are married. I have five grandchildren and two great grandchildren. And they all came together in one package seven years ago uh, when I married their dad, so I'm their stepmom. 
Now, what would you like every Lake County resident to know about you? Wow, um, I'd like them to know that I'm hardworking, I'm dedicated, I'm uh, compassionate, but probably the most important thing regarding uh, my political position is that if I tell you I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna do it. Mm -hmm. And I can very proudly say that the commitment I made eight years ago uh, for the first time I ran for this position was to uh, aggressively pursue the collection of delinquent taxes. And in the last seven years since I've been in office, I have collected over $95 million. You know, what challenges facing, you know, me, my family, Lake County residents, will your office be able to address? Well, what we're addressing right now, and this is going to be a big challenge uh, for people, is because of what again has happened here mm -hmm. in our economy with um, people being home, people not working, um, they are still responsible for paying taxes. And I know people do not have the revenue to do that, so what I have done is, is I have uh, set up a special way for them or to give them assistance to get their taxes paid. Right. Um, what I'm going to do is what I would like them to do is to pay what they can and then have them call us and we will put them on a payment plan so they will have a longer period of time uh, to make to pay those taxes and then at the same time because once you have a delinquency in your taxes the state law automatically puts a 10 percent penalty on it uh, and what we're going to do is we going to look at each case individually with um, to remit that penalty so the people who are on that payment plan uh, will not get penalized. Kind of moving on to some of the more fun questions. <laughs> What's your favorite movie? Oh, well, it's kind of hard to answer because I really don't have one. I'm going to say I have two. Uh, the first one is, is, without a doubt, Top Gun. Uh, I'm a big fan of it, and I'm really disappointed right now because the sequel was supposed to um, be in the theaters now in June, but because uh, of what has happened, COVID, yeah. it's going to be pushed off until um, till December. And then my other favorite one is American President. It's with uh, Michael Douglas and Annette Bening. And that's my favorite for a variety of reasons. One I think is pretty, pretty obvious because it's a pl <laughs> politically, uh, it's a political movie. But the other thing was that that happened to be the very first date that my husband took me on. Oh. <laughs> now, how about your book? What is your favorite book? Well, I have a couple of those as well, but the the one that probably sticks up the most it's a, a book that's called Cupcakes and Courage. Oh. Okay. It was written by uh, Jennifer Bruner who is our former Secretary of State, who is, by the way, currently running for uh, Ohio Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. And it's about women, politics in Ohio, and her experiences that she had when she was running for the state Senate, not, excuse me, U.S. Senate, not state Senate. Now we're kind of rearing the end of our interview. For our last question, if you could have any occupation other than those that you've had before, that you have now, what would it be and why? Oh, that's an easy question, and it would be nursing for me. Uh, I've always been interested in the medical field. Uh, I, a number of years ago, I went to paramedic school. I was uh, an EMT for over 30 years, and Grey's Anatomy just happens to be my favorite TV show. <laughs> Mine too. Well, thank you so much, Lorraine, for sitting down with me today. Uh, thanks for having me.